Number eight, what is the conjugate acid of each of the following? And what's the conjugate base of each? Then we have letter C. So in this case, we just have to find the conjugate acid and conjugate base of pH three. Now, technically, if you could find both the conjugate acid and the conjugate base of a single molecule, in some instances, this can act as an acid, and in some instances, it can act as a base. That's called amphoteric or amphiprotic, tomato, tomato. All we have to do for this one, though, is just find out those conjugates. So we're going to follow this kind of base uh, to find out what the conjugate base and the conjugate acid is. So let's pretend that pH 3 in a certain solution is acting as an acid. How are we going to find out that conjugate base? Well, remember, bases are just one less hydrogen than its acid. So all you got to do is just ditch the hydrogen. You take a hydrogen away. So in this case, it was pH 3. So all you got to do is just drop the 3 and bring it down to a 2. So all the other elements come along for the ride. So the phosphorus has to come along for the ride. But now it would just be H2. Now you just have to account for the charge. When you're losing a hydrogen, you subtract one from the overall charge that you started with. But when I look at pH 3, there was no charge in the upper right-hand corner. That means that it was a zero. So when I come over here, I say, okay, it was a zero, but since I lost a hydrogen, I got a minus one. Zero minus one, that's a negative one. Or you could just put a negative charge. And that would be your conjugate base. I'm just gonna put con base for short. Now we just have to do the same thing if pH 3 was acting as a base, so that we can find the conjugate acid. Now in this case, an acid is always one more hydrogen. So all you gotta do is just gain one. You just bump it up to the next number. So there were three hydrogens. What's the next number up? Yeah, four. So P is coming along for the ride, and now it would be H4. But then you just have to account for the charge. Since you added a hydrogen, you plus one to the overall charge. It still was a zero. That's what we said before. So when we come over here, I say, okay, it was a zero plus one. Zero plus one is the plus one. Or you could just say plus. That means it's a plus one charge. And that is your conjugate acid. And that's the end for this problem, guys. Hopefully this helped. Let me know in the comments. Um, I hope I'm giving you good educational content, but let me, let me know, okay? Love talking to you guys, and I hope you guys are having a great day, all right? So keep studying hard. I'll see you later. Bye-bye.